Mr Deputy Speaker. I think the greenest aspect of this uh, level of recycling that he's got in these announcements without the actual funding to back it up. Mr Deputy Speaker, we'll start with nuclear. There is no successful EPR project anywhere in the world. Hinkley has almost doubled in price to £33 billion, so we know size will see would cost something like £35 billion. A huge, scandalous waste of money that could be better utilised elsewhere. In terms of SMRs, there is not even an approved design by the regulator yet. And at £2 billion a pop, SMRs are not cheap either, and it is a myth that they will lo uh, lower energy bills and provide security. Nuclear is the only energy technology to actually get more expensive rather than cheaper over the years. We need more storage, pump storage hydro. I keep asking, please agree a cap and floor mechanism with SSE so we can go on with Corrie Glass and uh, Drax can go on with uh, the Kruken extension. Now, while we get the Inflation Reduction Act in the United States, when we look at the budget allocation for AR5, funding has been cut by a third from £285 million to £205 million, while we have got inflationary pressures of 30 per cent. The reality is this will not deliver what we need it to deliver. And I asked the Minister as he looked at the lessons from the Spanish auction, which actually failed miserably and did not deliver uh, in, in terms of uh, allocations. Then look at Tido. He knows we need a greater ring fencing pot for Tido. At the moment, uh, Tido stream has an 80 to 90 per cent UK supply chain. If they don't increase the ring fence budget, then we're going to risk offshore manufacturing again. So if he's talking about being powered by Britain, then he needs to increase that funding for Tidal Stream so it will build in the UK supply chain. And then the CCS ACORN, not even mentioned in the statement. It was promised to us in 2014, and now it's not even uh, mentioned. So is there going to be a definitive funding allocation for ACORN? Is there going to be timescales for that funding, or is that a further betrayal again, while the government's taking in six to odd billion pounds in additional oil and gas revenues? The reality is clear. Scotland's get the energy, but Westminster keeps the powers. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Well, the, uh, the Honourable Gentleman's Party, of course, opposes nuclear, um, despite the opportunity it provides um, uh, to this, this country, and, of course, it means that Scotland does not benefit as it should. He talked about pumped hydro. I'd be very happy to meet with him and discuss that further. Um, on, on tidal, we... we Put, uh, we ha we're the world leader in tidal energy. You'd be hard uh, pushed to understand that from uh, the honourable gentleman. We put a ring fence number on that. Budgets can be changed depending. It, the budgets were set on the basis of those projects which were ready and coming forward. As that changes through this year, as I very much hope it will, we have, we have the flexibility to change those budgets uh, upwards appropriately. And like him, I, I believe that tidal has a great future. And I love the fact that we are the global leader. There are many jobs in Scotland and around the rest of the country from it. Um, on uh, carbon capital, Capture and storage. I mean, it's a major announcement uh, today. I am delighted uh, at the, uh, uh, the eight projects for carbon capture uh, that have come forward as part of Track One. We've we have launched today Track Two, and we have said in the papers, and the honourable gentleman will be delighted to hear this, that we think the Scottish Cluster and Acorn, and indeed Viking in the Humber, are the two best placed at the moment. Uh, though it's a, it'll be a competition to go ahead, and we are and we are opening that right now. We we will be having an extension of track one, we will be having track two, and we're cracking on with it. And I very much look forward to seeing uh, what the Scottish cluster has to offer, because I know it is particularly well prepared, and that's why it was not a reserve, but the reserve on our, on our track one process. Thank you.